So for this example, I'll just turn this cube off and turn Suzanne on. Now you'll notice Suzanne is actually parented to the cube in this case. And in After Effects that will change the location slightly. So let's export this file and because I've already saved this file I have the option to save the object next to the Blender file and I'm just going to use the object name. I've already got a Suzanne file in this folder but I know that I can overwrite it. So I'm just going to export this and it will come into this composition. Now you'll notice the position of the 3D object is way over to the left and the reason for that is that the exported 3D model starts over on the left side so the position of the object is actually correct for the first frame but there's no animation on that object at the moment there's a couple of things we could try to get the animation of Suzanne over to After Effects one option is to actually bake down the animation from the object so that it has no parent and the way you do that is you go to object animation bake action and then you just want to make sure visual keying and clear parents is selected and you have the right frame range click ok now you can see actually in the outliner that the parent has been cleared and suzanne actually has keyframes for every frame now if we export this 3d object again i'll just reload this footage i've actually got another suzanne head in here from from the promo video but we don't want to use that one so i'll just bring this back in now if we open up press a a to bring up all the options we can choose the action you can see that now we have the 3d animated object now there is one major problem though that um, we can't fix and that is that the frame rate is stuck to 30 frames per second and there's no option currently to interpret the footage for 3d objects so for this reason I don't recommend using the action. Instead, what we can do with Blender Ray is we can use the cube null and parent the 3D object to the cube null. And then we can see that the object is parented to the null and perfectly animated as it was from Blender. And we can actually visualize the frame rate problem if we duplicate. Suzanne, just open up the keyframes to this and this one I'll make sure there's no action I'll parent this to the cube on the first frame and the second copy I'll use the action instead and then we can actually see can actually see the issue there the one that's parented is at the right frame rate and the position is correct but the other one with using the action is incorrect.